Today, I'm signing an executive order encouraging police departments nationwide to adopt the highest professional standards to serve their communities. These standards will be as high and as strong as there is on Earth. The vast majority of police officers are selfless and courageous public servants. They are great men and women. When others run away from danger, police run straight into harm's way, often putting their lives at stake to protect someone who they don't know or never even met. Under the executive order I'm signing today, we will prioritize federal grants from the Department of Justice to police departments that seek independent credentialing, certifying that they meet high standards and, in fact, in certain cases, the highest standard. That's where they do the best on the use of force and de-escalation training. For example, many believe that proper training might have prevented the tragic deaths of Antoine Rose and Botham Jean. As part of this new credentialing process, chokeholds will be banned, except if an officer's life is at risk. And I will say, we've dealt with all of the various departments, and everybody said, it's time. We have to do it. Additionally, we're looking at new, advanced, and powerful, less lethal weapons to help prevent deadly interactions. New devices are being developed all the time, and we're looking at the best of them. And cost is no object. No object. Under this executive order, departments will also need a share of information about credible abuses so that officers with significant issues do not simply move from one police department to the next. That's a problem. And the heads of our police department said, whatever you can do about that, please let us know. We're letting you know. We're doing a lot about it. In addition, my order will direct federal funding to support officers in dealing with homeless individuals and those who have mental illness and substance abuse problems. We will provide more resources for co-responders, such as social workers who can help officers manage these complex encounters. And this is what they've studied and worked on all their lives. They understand how to do it. We're going to get the best of them put in our police departments and working with our police. We will have reform without undermining our many great and extremely talented law enforcement officers. President Obama and Vice President Biden never even tried to fix this during their eight-year period. The reason they didn't try is because they had no idea how to do it. And it is a complex situation. This is a big one, right? Signature, right? Okay, twice, sir. Yeah,